Welcome back, everybody, for another daily dose of your MSG. I am Mr. Spicy, and today we are back with some Nautica in creative mode, not to build, but to look at the best way or the best approach to turning your Cyclops into a complete, totally sustainable mobile base. So let's take a look at how I've got everything set up inside. Okay, so welcome aboard the Cyclops. As you can see, I've already filled out all of my storage down in the lower section. Uh, this is exactly what I've done in my survival mode game. However, I've added a fabricator in here. Now, I wanted to put the fabricator right here, but in a recent update, apparently they changed something with this where you can't place it there. You can, for some reason, place it on the lower section of the uh, ladder, but you can't place a fabricator, nor can you place a wall locker here anymore. And if you've been watching my survival series, you know that I happen to have a wall locker there. So, uh, in order to keep that accessible, I tried placing all around, didn't work. So I decided just to place it in here, where when you walk in, you're looking right at it. And of course, being that most of your storage capacity is right here, when you climb in from doing some harvesting outside, you're right here next to your storage and a fabricator. So you can just run over here and dump it. You don't have to climb up the ladder to do that. So this takes care of one of your big needs for the Cyclops to be a completely mobile, sustainable base solution. And that is to have a lot of storage. Now I recommend, if you have not watched it, watch my previous video on how to build an efficient base because despite how much you set up the Cyclops for, you will occasionally have to have some kind of outpost to stop for recharging your power cells. So I recommend having at least a set of uh, your storage lockers be set aside just for supplies to build a temporary base location so you have a place to recharge. Also, you will not be able to build a vehicle modification station within the Cyclops. So you will have to have a temporary solution to build a moon pool with a vehicle modification station so you can actually make certain upgrades for it as well. Uh, for your Cyclops or for the prawn suit and sea moth, whichever one you want to carry. I tend to recommend carrying the prawn suit because the sea moth is great for getting around from one base to another one. But if you're going to use this as a mobile base, your prawn suit is going to be the main thing you use because you will be able to go down super deep to the inactive lava zone and active lava zone with it. But you can't do that with a sea moth. Now you can see I've got some lockers in here. I've also added lockers back here. Now you can do that if you want more storage. It all depends on how much storage capacity you think you will need. Unfortunately, you cannot place lockers up here because of the pipes, but you can place them too high on this side, though the alignment is a little weird. You can see in some of these, I have them actually overlap together and up here, it won't let you do that. So there's something glitchy going on with the alignment here in this current version. So I don't know how soon they'll get fits. That may change, but you can still build here and it's perfectly fine. I don't recommend building here. And let me show you why. If you build in the actual bay where you can dock your sea moth and uh, prawn soup, you will see that these uh, lockers actually show through. It's not a glitch like they have right now where you can be inside the Cyclops and see all the lockers in the bays. It's actually a glitch where the lockers are kind of sticking out a little bit. And I don't think they are going to fix that glitch because of the way those walls are treated. This is not just a solid wall like this part here. This is the bay that opens up. So these open out, which is why I doubt they'll ever change it to fix that problem. Because that would mean changing this wall type or, you know, the entity type of this. And that could cause problems, so I don't see that happening. Moving on to the upstairs, I haven't done much in here. Now, you know, right now, you've got benches and beds are mostly decoration. They did add the option to use a bed to sleep and turn it from daytime to nighttime, so you can do that. Though, I don't see that being something you want to try squeezing up here, because you do need to be able to get around a little bit. But you can build a modification station, and I feel like this was a, as good a spot as any. Uh, you can also build plenty of wall lockers up in this area too. So if you want to have wall lockers 
set aside specifically for certain things, or if you want to do like this and build uh, standing lockers, you can for more storage up here. Maybe if you just want to use this as a place to keep all your medical kits right here, uh, or keep uh, food, maybe gather a large number of bladder fish to keep in stockpile. Now, I do have one indoor grow, uh, grow bed and two of the little circular planters. I normally would have these completely full, but for some reason when I filled this up with marble melons, everything started stuttering like that. The frame rate dropped drastically. I don't know if it's something to do with the placement of this plant bed, this grow bed here, or if it's something to do with the fact that I have done a lot of terrain modification in this creative mode game. So I don't know what that is that caused that, but it doesn't bother me in survival mode. So if you're doing this for survival mode, you should be fine. Though, again, just be cautious. It, it seems to only do it for this. It doesn't seem to do it with these. But basically, I would recommend for optimal food production, you stick with the main food crop of marble melons. That provides you food and water uh, as, you know, and they're easy to take care of. You can just sit there and have this whole thing loaded up with 16 and w when you eat three that should get you pretty much full on your food and water meters from wherever you are and then you can use your knife to pop open the fourth one and then you get four seeds to replant so you could do 16 or if you want to change it up you could forego these planters and do maybe one bulbo tree and one chinese potato plant and then do 16 or uh, eight of the marble melons on the rest of the spots though i prefer to have a large number of marble melons just in case and then use these for the bulbo trees and chinese potato plants now of course to be a mobile base to be completely sustainable and useful uh you need to have a communications relay so you can get all of your uh coordinates that you're going to be investigating of course you need medical fabricator so you can have one or two of those depends on how often you're getting hurt uh, you can also add a power cell charger and a battery charger. Now, this will drain your power faster than just moving around. So I recommend if you're going to try to take the Cyclops as a complete mobile base solution and not have to actually have a base you go back to on a regular basis, fill it up uh, with storage for power cells and batteries. And you can see I've got two of the freestanding lockers here. If I fill both of these up with batteries and power cells, I'll be pretty good to go for a while. Now, you could use this really to charge batteries. Right now, as of the posting of this video, you can use the power cell charger to charge two power cells. And the, the physics of it is off in that you could actually charge two power cells from empty to full. And it will not even completely drain the active power cell. If you want to do this, go ahead. I don't say to trust it because at some point I'm sure it will be fixed where if you try to charge two power cells here, it will drain two power cells completely in the back. So this is the reason why you will need some kind of temporary base solution that you can build quickly, use to recharge a whole group of power cells, and then just tear it right back down and take it with you again. Uh, you can see I've added a whole bunch more lockers up here. This can be adjustable however you want. You can always do decorations. That's kind of why I left this wall open because if you want to, you can put decorations up. Uh, most of the interior stuff will work. Uh, you can even have an aquarium if you want, though it's not really going to help. The aquariums do not allow fish to reproduce. Only the alien containments will. So the aquarium is just for looks and transporting fish. But let's be honest, if you're going to transport fish, this will give you a lot more storage capacity than an aquarium, and it takes up a lot less room. I'm also a big fan of using the wall lockers as opposed to trying to fit in the uh, freestanding lockers because they're a bit more versatile in this situation, and each one has its own label on it, so you can readily label them, especially downstairs, to label it for, say, these two are titanium, these two are, you know, mag uh, magnetite, whatever. Uh, right now you can see I have ion power cells, which I recommend as soon as you can get those to fill your uh, capacity with ion power cells because they get, as opposed to normal power cells being a total power charge of 200, these get five times as much at 1000. So this 
at normal power cells, full capacity would be 1200. With ion power cells, it is 6000. So this will carry you a lot further. I also have a tendency like placing at least one wall locker down back here, generally up above the doorway. That's out of the way. It's for the spare upgrades. Like here, I don't need that anymore. So I've got it up here. You know, uh, if I had the fire suppression system, I didn't think I would need it for a while, then I could put it up there. And I recommend for your upgrades, of course, you're going to need your hull module so you can get your depth. Uh, I'm going to recommend always using the efficiency module so you'll get more uh, duration out of your power, which is going to be critical if you plan to use this as a mobile base solution instead of having a permanent base that you keep going back to. And uh, I don't use it a lot so far in survival, but you can use the shield generator. I find it more useful than sonar, but if you really want to, uh, you can always use sonar. And of course, uh, I've got the thermal reactor equipped right now. This is something I could readily unequip, you know, and put up here when I'm not in a high temperature environment. But say I take this down to the inactive lava zone to park for a little bit and take the cyclops out and do some uh, working and mining, you know, looking around. I could put that in and let it charge the power cells back there from it. And at the same time, probably be able to use some charging up here or do, like I said, build a temporary base to charge everything. But that is my approach, my kind of, you know, just quick setup on how to make the Cyclops a completely mobile base where you may have to build a temporary solution for charging your power cells, uh, building a, you know, moon pool and vehicle modification station to be able to do certain upgrades for other devices. But for the most part, this setup, you can go wherever you want in the game and you won't have a problem. You'll have all of your storage, you'll have your food production, you'll have power, which is in the essence, this case, just your power cells and batteries. So you'd want to have a large stockpile of those. Uh, but, you know, you've got all your needs right here the same way as if you had to build a base. And in this case, it's completely mobile. Just don't, you know, run up and try to take on uh leviathan head on so it destroys your cyclops because then there goes your base there goes all your supplies there goes everything bye bye but that's it for today's episode if you like the video be sure you hit that like button also make sure you hit subscribe and you tick the notification bell so you can be uh, updated during the week when i post also be sure to leave a comment let me know what you liked about the video what you didn't like if you got any suggestions of your own for the way to lay out the cyclops uh, to make it a mobile base, I would love to hear them and talk with you about them. Uh, you can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter to keep up with everything during the week and interact with me there. And as always, thanks for watching. I'm your host, Mr. Spicy, and I will see you guys next time.